a death walking used boots. The same thing. You wanna know why you don't wear other people's shoes? What? Why were you wearing somebody else's shoes? Because they were loaned, they were given to me so I could work construction because all I have is sneaky. And they're apparently nails go through some boots. Yeah. Nails go through boots and wood and all sorts of things. Well, no, That's what they're made for. Not if they're raising something. You don't want it to have the memory of stepping on a nail. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. You know, every time you wear this sneaker, it really reminds you. Yeah, it gets nightmares. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. trouble with your black balls yes <laughs> he blackballed me man <laughs> he calls them black balls the lapel microphones they lapel microphones then what lapel lapel not that uh, do, do these shirts even have lapels they just have collars yours doesn't even have a collar <laughs> would require a neck <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> There's another one. It's got a port. It's got a port. Your head sticks to it, but yeah. not really a collar. Yeah. Oh, no. God. No. Uh, all right. I <laughs> <laughs> in hell, man. All right. Hello once again, everyone. That's everyone inclusive this time. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Welcome again to another exciting episode of the Not Robots podcast. He's your host, Harry. And? And? Harry's actually here. I know this is a podcast, but he's supposed to be talking. What's your deal, man? I'm trying to be you today. The robot. Well... This robot isn't quiet. Robot Pete. Okay. Great. Hey, so our subject today is, you know, we always have randomly subject. pulled them out of a hat, not quite like, you know, they use some dolphins or whatever and manatees and ping pong balls like they do on some of the other shows. But, um... They pull things out of manatees? That's nasty. No, they have a pool. They fill it with manatees and ping pong balls with, like, subjects on them. At least that's what South Park says that other shows do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember what the manatees do with the ping pong ball. They pick them up and throw them out of the pool, and they go, "Ha ha!" Wait, wait, wait. Pancake wait. diaper surprise. Those are the three words, and mysteriously South Park comes up with the show or whoever. I'm trying to, I'm trying to envision this. Om, first off. See, he's no, making no, some. No, it's not Om. What is it? Uh, it's, 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 uh, I'm not, I'm not. This is not electrical engineering. You know, Om's. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly yeah. how does a manatee pick something up? I'm just I have to, no I'm idea. To, I'm trying to see this. Your little you know, snuffle the... up against the front end and the little wide flipper tail thing, did, and they move did you slow. Say snuffle up against. Snuffle up against. I know. Trunk. Yeah, the trunk. How do you? How do you? How are we equating a, a something that kind of looks like a freshwater walrus to a d elephant dish? Man, we're totally going off topic <laughs> already. This is horrible. <laughs> I'm just asking questions well, we're, here. We're supposed to be talking about uh, things that sound dirty, but they aren't. And laundry. They, they, they do, yes. Wait, if your laundry's... Hey, you know what? What if your laundry's clean? Exactly. Laundry can be in either state. Oh. Now, is the underwear clean if you turn it inside out? <laughs> See, we should have a guest here for this. My thought, right? We should have a Jeez. woman... Oh, we should have a woman as a guest here for this because, you know, I she she would get wet coming here because it's raining. Is it? <laughs> How can you tell? 
<laughs> well, if you guys hear thunder and lightning, well, you're not going to hear lightning. You hear thunder. I was about to say, <laughs> can, can you explain the physics of that one to me? All right, if you happen to be watching so the, the recording and you hear and you hear flashing, that would be lightning. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. So if, if you happen to be doing the unfortunate thing and uh, paying attention to our recording of this on the uh, the, the YouTube's plural, many of them. There's lots of tubes. Well, it gets because there's red now, so you know there's more than one tube. Oh, remember that. So what? Well, there's YouTube. The, the YouTube's red. The, you, so this that means that there's tubes. But isn't there a YouTube blue? Isn't there another one? Prime or something? Or no, no, no. You're thinking rainforests. Completely premium. different things. Maybe that's it. Is it? Is it premium? I thought that was Spotify. No, oh, maybe that's it. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's got one these days. I heard there's a shot for that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, all right. What about uh, let's see. So what's the topic? Well, yeah, well, things that sound dirty but they aren't. Like laundry. Yes, we covered. Uh, you just ate, so you were masticating. That was what? Yes. Masticating. In public. Well, you're in your did house. Did you watch me? Here. I did. I oh my God, that's that's. <laughs> I'm 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 ashamed. Well, it was what was it? Chicken and broccoli? Is that what it was? Yes. You know, the fact that I have to ask speaks volumes for your cooking. <laughs> wow, thanks. You're welcome. I didn't eat it. It was yummy, though. I Notice had, how I snorted I it fish. off the plate. <laughs> I like I like fish. <laughs> it's fishy. <laughs> yeah, I went fishing for seven hours today, and you know what I caught? A chill? No, actually, it didn't rain the whole time I was out there. It was beautiful. You should have stayed out there, then this wouldn't be happening. I know, she that's all get, my fault. Then she wouldn't get wet if she could <laughs> drink gas. Yeah, that's why That's why she's not our guest. Yeah, because you came in from fishing, and so she couldn't come in because it was... Yeah, she couldn't come. Because it's wet now. Yeah, it's too wet. Yes. You said it was flooding. It was, it was hard to, you know, drive in that rain. The rain was hard? Well, to get through the puddles, because it was so deep. Mm. And then, you know, what happens when the car gets too wet? Well, I don't know. Mine doesn't work right now. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. <laughs> uh, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, boy. I feel like I'm going to say that a lot in this episode. That's great. <laughs> so you're putting the whole thing down? High quality H2O. Yeah. Got to lubricate the pipes. <laughs> uh, cool it down from the inside out. Exactly. Don't want it to be frigid. Not too fast. Exactly. Gotta, you don't want to choke on it. Got to pace. Got to pace yourself. <laughs> Can't handle it all at once. Yes. It's a whole portion size. That's. I think this is. They say that portion size. Is, I think this is the extra large. It's recommended. <laughs> I see your portion size is the same size as mine. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anybody's gonna understand that on the audio at all. Uh, he held up a water bottle, and I held up a water bottle. Yes. Well, mine has more cunnilations than yours. Well, you also cupped it properly. Mine's red. For pleasure. I don't know. I think it's for grip. <laughs> okay. That way, you know, you don't lose it in your hand. Well, it seems a little thin on the well, exterior. Look at the. Well, this one's a, a whole different type. I would hope so. <laughs> well, it's got a, mine's got a darker cap. The end, at least. Mine's kind of pale. <clears throat> kind of pale. Seems thin too. Yeah. Well, you know, they don't make them like they used to. Hmm. Well, the ring around the end, I mean, it, it seems like that mine might require actually more protection than yours. Yeah, my, mine's, mine's for easy access. It still goes down the same hole and gets it wet the same. Yeah, it, it does, but I think that, you know, they, they can manufacture more because it's less threaded. 
so you know it doesn't have to go as deep. It, it's it's shorter and stubby. <laughs> Some people like it like that though. Who are these people? Don't you remember Mickey's? They were short and stubby. Oh, the forties? Yeah, yeah, those are great. A little bee on them. You can just chug those bees. You, you know, I remember you're gone. I remember the first time I had a Mickey's forty. I went um, to the barracks area of Fort Huachuca, Arizona, and um, was waiting on. You were coughing with a hairball. No, yeah, I, I feel like we've had the same joke before. <laughs> wow. That had to be season one, right? <laughs> that had to be. Good possibility. Good, <laughs> good possibility. possibility. All right, so um, I'm at the barracks, and I'm waiting for um, another, we call us sailors, right, to come pick me up in his truck. But I see down the... Do you guys call seamen? Hmm. That's... There's a common misconception. <laughs> You're on the sea, right? No, we were in the desert. So we so were dry we're semen. Desert. <laughs> Powdered semen. Right. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So uh, yeah, it was. Sand it was, gets in all kinds of places. Right yeah, here. I was. I, it is. Yeah. Speaking of sand, I'm, I'll come back to my my Mickey story. Um, I was at the beach with my my kids the other day, mm-hmm. and um, I'm trying to fold up this this beach chair. Was lawn chair. We're, we're packing everything up. And we're gonna leave. I was fishing there. Kids are playing on the water. Sand castles work, right? And I'm trying to get this folding chair to go back together, and it just won't. And I'm grabbing its bars, and I'm pulling, and I'm tugging, and I'm jerking this thing around as hard as I can. It just won't come. So, um, um, maybe you were just using too much force. Sometimes the gentle way is the best. Well, so, I mean, I, I took it out into the water, and I, I was thinking maybe it, it, the sand on it, whatever. I'm shaking it around. I pick it back up. I'm, I'm jerking on the thing. I'm pulling it. I'm tugging it. And and nothing's happening. It's just, I, it's I, staying in its just normal, you know, form that can't get into the the covering. So it was it was fairly rigid. Well, yeah, but it was you know in the short and wide form instead of the long and and solid form. Yeah, but you know. Well, it's got to go to work. Is the idea, right? Yeah, you, know, you got to get something done with this thing. You got to move. It's got to handle its business. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. here I am screwing with this thing, and my son takes a handful of sand and throws it down the crack of my shorts, like, in the back. Well, floor sand isn't just sand. It's a whole bunch of, like, ancient crushed cells, like, really, really tiny, fine bits as well in it. And, um, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes, it's it's extra funny later when I'm in the shower trying to wash the chunks of sand and shell out of the crack of my rear, and it it's not coming off. You got so coquina. It's all <laughs> over, and it's like I'm having to use fingernails and scrape my undersides. I feel like I got barnacled. Like I was I'm, about to I'm say, about you know, probably could have gotten a power washer out. And just kind of... Well, at one point I'm like. I'm yelling for my wife. It's like, hey, look, this is what happened. Our boy threw the handful of sand down my crack. What do I do? She's like, ah, 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 and just grabs a washcloth off the counter and throws it at me and says, good luck. <laughs> so, anyways, back to the Mickey's 40. First time I had one, I was at the barracks waiting on dude at the truck, and I see this. <laughs> Was that? Yeah. Yes, at, at Fort... At, excuse you. Yes. And, um... Oh, that was loud. Fireworks already? Nice. So, um... It must have stopped raining. Or that or slowed down enough to resume our festivities. Five days long. Five, five days. Are you kidding me? In my area, it's been going on for like a month. No, no, no. They only started on Wednesday. Wow, that's so long. You're at this area. Thursday, no, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Thursday night they started, and then Friday they were kind of a little more, and then Saturday they were all in until two o'clock in the morning, and then Sunday they waited for the storm to pass, and you know then they they lit right on up, and um, you know big bang all the time. Only and five then, days seems really short. You know, sometimes you, you do what you got to do. You, know, you, you can't go longer than five days. You recovery time. Well, you know, they, you they say it, it up. if it lasts more than how many hours you're supposed to call a doctor? Three, they say. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
What, what about fireworks? How, how many days is it supposed to last before you... Who do you call? Probably not a doctor. I think at that point you call the fire department. <laughs> the fire department. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, boy. Because, yeah, you know, those guys, they come in there with their big hose and they just put it out everywhere. Yeah, well, they got to rescue those cats out of the trees. They're scared all over the place. You know? The fire hose? Ooh, I can see that. Cat launching. I mean, oh, sorry. My bad. Well, the... Hey, there's a cat. I don't okay. know if I can say the other name for a cat. It starts with a P. Be line? Not that one. <laughs> I was thinking if you want. Can I can I say the P cat word and not get up? Josie? Mm. You guys know what I'm talking about. It fat farm? No. Oh, no, it no, could no. be a fat cat, alright. Top cat? Yeah. yeah. Felix! Mmm, hey. You know I haven't seen a Felix cat in a long time. Oh, it's been ages. Yeah. And his bag of tricks. Which you know, I think in today's society, he wouldn't be able to have that because there's just something fundamentally wrong with a cat wandering around with a bag of tricks. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hey, he was a black cat. Hey, he and was rolling with his bag of tricks. <laughs> he, uh, you know, they say that it's bad luck to have those things uh, cross the path in front of you. I think when he has his bag of tricks, it's just bad luck for everyone. I'm telling you. Yeah. Especially if you own him, because, you know, those tricks, they got to get paid. Yeah, he, I hear he's turning quite a few, you know, over and over. Yeah, I hear he's living large, though. They say he's got a cane and a cup now. And a purple jacket? Kind of tiger leopard skin. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Purple leopard skin? The purple is the hat, though. Oh, okay. Does it have a feather? No, 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 but it does have a fringe. Nice. Kind of. Kind of friend he's, talking about. He's, he's on the fringe because he's Felix, you know, the bag of ninja tricks. On the edge. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's keeping it real. Or something. Or, well. Something. Well, the pimp hand is strong. We're, uh, no, he's a cat. It's pimp paw. Pimp, the pimp paw. <laughs> the pimp paw is strong. Who's that? That's my pimp paw. <laughs> Did that cat just pimp paw you? <laughs> That's I mean, a crying shame. I go. I'd go home after that. Dang. Look out, my, uh, that's my cat word that starts with a P. Next time, my claws won't be retracted. Meow. <laughs> oh, boy. I am not even walking down that path at all. Does Wayne no. Brady have to choke a female dog? <laughs> no, Disney, we were, we were, we're going to continue to hang with y'all. Keeping it real. That's right. Yeah. When sucking up goes wrong. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. We're not talking about China here. We don't do any of sucking up to China. I was talking Disney, but okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Disney's like 30 minutes away. I mean, they could have a hit squad here now. <laughs> you know? It's their thing. Did you notice? You don't mess with the mouse. Did you notice it's real silent now? Yeah. It's kind of quiet. It got right? really quiet. That's kind of... That's Is it like your air conditioning turned off? I mean, every... Uh, the phone lines got cut. The door is slowly creeping in. Yeah, I see now. So what is what is that theory? You're old. I see now. You only have to run faster than the fastest guy. So if I trip you and then just and I I don't even have to run. It's no, you you don't run faster than the fastest guy. You run faster than the slowest guy. Oh, good. Yeah. So I'll just trip you. Just don't be the fattest one in the room, and that's that's good. You'll never yeah, you know, your shoulders bodies. can't get out the door. So I mean, I'll be out and gone. I turn sideways. I'm good. <laughs> your chest won't fit through though. You'll you wedge. Oh man. Oh man. Shouldn't have done those flies today. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to catch them. That's why you didn't catch any fish. Yeah, yeah, I didn't catch any fish today. Good point. Thank you. You know, if I'd have used flies, I probably would have caught some. But I wasn't fly fishing. Why does that help you catch fish? Well. They tie these little things on the hooks. And what, is, what does and this have to do with that? I don't, I don't fly fish. No, what? Oh, what are you doing? The, flies. The must increase my bust? Is that flies. No. Oh, you mean the exercise. Yes. Usually I no, do I don't feel like being exercised right now. Thanks, though. I, I, I mean, do my flies while I'm laying down. He's, he's. The flies don't do me. I do flies. In Soviet Russia, flies do you. Wait. 
I'm gonna drink more water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to cut the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, what about like? Can you think of any movie titles? Which, by the way, I just went down to the store. I I bought a Mickey Sporty and had the first one. That's so sorry. I remember. Um. So. Yes. <laughs> what, what what movie titles could you could you think of that maybe would would be. Maybe if you changed one word or something, would it be, if you added a word, would it be completely inappropriate? Well, you don't even have to necessarily change. There was that great movie about um, the cocaine cowboys, Blow. Oh, there you go. I was thinking more along the lines of Saving Private Ryan, but instead of Private Ryan being in that order, it would be the other way around. So yeah, yeah, Ryan, yeah, you see that? Yeah, oh. that they, they actually, I think that was actually one of those movies. Oh, was it? I, 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 I <laughs> oh, believe because so, you know that was too easy to turn around. So they were like, <laughs> yes, they they, tri- <laughs> they tripled Malcolm's letter. There you go. Yeah, they, they, yeah the triple Malcolm movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, yeah, what yeah. what a, like Malcolm in the middle? It could be highly inappropriate as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. That 70s show? Mm, uh oh. <laughs> They're all old and getting it on. <laughs> yeah, fireworks! Woo! Oh, sorry. Elizabeth, I'm coming! That's what's going on. <laughs> that was a double tap. Yeah. Well, you know what they say? Ammo's cheap. Is it? Double tap. Well, isn't that a rule on the zombie survival movie? Well, zombie land, cardio, and oh my god, I I didn't see the second one, but yeah, I thought that was one of the rules. Yeah, double tap was one of the rules. And it was cheap double tap. Yeah, was there a Twinkie rule? There, I don't know if there was a rule about Twinkies other than if you find them, eat them. Must hunt the Twinkies. I guess that would make you, because uh, that's that's why he didn't ever get turned into a zombie. Because, you know, the half-life of, 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 of like, a Twinkie is greater than the half-life of plutonium. Well, Twinkies are made out of plutonium? No, 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 because they have a greater half-life. That a Twinkie has a greater half-life than the zombie virus? Yes. Okay. Precisely. Huh. Zombies eating each other. That could be highly inappropriate as well. <laughs> that's, that's a whole different type of eating. Wouldn't that be... Would that be cannibalism? Oh, if they're using their teeth. Because, I mean, they're zombies. Yeah. But then they'd be eating other zombies as opposed to eating living humans. Zombanalism. Oh, that sounds dumb. Huh. Well, yeah. I mean, that it, you, have you to know, process that one. Well, that may require another episode. If it's is it still cannibalism if they're eating it raw? Yeah. So who? I mean, if it's cooked human, is it cannibalism? Well, it's still eating humans. Yeah, but what well, if it's raw? zombies? It's it's you're still eating it. But if it's so dead so flesh, steak tartare versus steak medium rare, you're still eating steak. Okay, so if if zombie A stabs a guy instead of biting him and turning him into a zombie in order to kill the, the flesh, and he eats it, A, as a zombie, and then the other one as, like, just dead flesh not turned into zombie, is there a difference in his dietary requirements? I'm confused now. So the zombie... Okay, rando zombie decides to stab somebody as opposed to taking a bite, which was kind of a waste of energy for a zombie in the first place. And then rando zombie then takes a bite out of the zombie. The how quick? So you, so here we go. Was it a big bite? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We need we need we need timelines now. So you got to determine the timeline from stab to conversion. Is if there? you bite jerk well, for some is, okay, zombie movies, there is a conversion time. Okay, two separate people. 
One gets bitten, the other gets stabbed. They both obviously die. One of them reanimates. Zombie that did the stabbing and the biting eats both of them. Why? It's a zombie now. You don't eat it. It's a zombie. But it's dead flesh, right? No, no, no. But it, no, no. But it's dead flesh. You don't eat, they don't eat dead flesh. They eat living flesh. So if you were to instead take a regular human, normal living person and give them like zombie antibodies, they couldn't catch the zombie virus. Zombie antibodies. Well, according to <laughs> World War Z, the zombies in World War Z don't want you. If you're affected in any way, shape, or form. So if you've got like some sort of bug, they're like, no, nah, we don't need that. We're we're connoisseurs. Oh. We only eat healthy humans. Oh. Well, did they eat anybody that was like missing limbs? If you're healthy and missing a limb, yeah. But you know, well, how healthy like... be, can you be if you're missing all of your limbs? Well, oh. You could still the core could still be healthy. You, okay. You excise so, if you excise the sick parts. Okay, so if you cut off all of the limbs and feed it to the zombie. But what? But no. no but they, why did you cut off all the limbs? Does it still want the core, or is it full now? It's had plenty to eat. I don't know that zombies had a state of fullness. So they're perpetually hungry. Well, it. it, it I guess it's fuel. There's got to be a point like, where the stomach like, just says that's enough. No, I'm no, done. no. They're like, they're like, what's McCollum? They're like, um, what's yeah, yeah. Those The candy bar? Yes. No, that's what you call it. Oh, get, get, get your McCall candy it. bars right. Yeah, yeah. I, see, I don't eat sweets. Bar, right. I just, I yep. go through yeah. Publix line and I'm just looking around because I don't have anything else to do. You can't talk to anybody. <sighs> yes, you can. You they're six feet away. Hey, hey, you. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, it's, it's not social distancing. It's a lovely fact. It's anti-social distancing. <laughs> that's what it is. I love your nail. Don't talk to me. <laughs> yes, that's. But I'm it. six feet away. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. You're distant, and I'm social. Yeah. How do you know she even has a jaw, like a lower jaw? It could be a zombie all inside of here, covered up, and you'd have no idea. Tokyo Ghoul. And she's just staring at you with those dead eyes and beautiful painted nails. If her eyes are dead, why does she care about her nails? Well, I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of people out there. You look at them and you're like, something wrong with you. But she did her nails. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, look at them toes. You bought some money on those things. <laughs> Use the cheese grater on her feet. Fed it to the fish and it works. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. You know. No, I don't. If if women don't do the cheese gratery thingy on the feet and get the pedicures, their feet get like really, really like hard skin down there. My heels don't do that. I've never gotten a pedicure, never used the cheese gratery thingy on my feet. You start wearing stilettos and let's see how that goes. Well, I mean, no, 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 I mean, no, no, it, it, mm, mm. My wife doesn't wear high heels. She wears flip flops, and she has the same problem. I wear flip flops. I'm wearing flip flops right now. I mean, those are on video. Look, ah, camouflage Volcoms. <laughs> yeah, keep it real. <laughs> I worry. These things are so comfortable. <laughs> I worry. I tried keeping the, the uh, had ones a while back that looked like tire tread on the side where your feet go down on it. And you'd think, wow, man, yes, the feet went you down. It went all the way down. Um, where the feet, the feet feet touch the tire tread. Is that where the rubber met the road? So gently. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they were the most comfortable flip-flops I've ever had. I mean, they were heavy as far as flip-flops go. Because they had well, looked like tire tread on them. I mean, they looked like they would be terribly uncomfortable. So, so you could. But wear they were them the exact opposite of uncomfortable. Rainy days and get extra traction. Oh, it's fantastic! I would wear them even if I knew we were going to like Target or something or Walmart you or whatever. It was like, I wasn't running. You know, I wasn't going in the four by four mode with it. I didn't have to I mean, worry did about you, that. Did you, did you have to put some bleach on the ground and rub your feet to so get extra traction? No, and smoke no, them? no, no. 
So they were nice and gummy? Nope, didn't need any of that. Nope. No drag racing burnout for me with my flip flops. You had tire treads. Yes, but it was face up on my feet, not face down towards the road. Yeah, but you, your feet needed the traction. So that you could, you know, get... They only looked that It way. may have been Black Friday way. and you wanted to get, like, a little extra. Get through those lines, fight off those people, so you need a little extra performance. Give it a little zombie elbow. High performance. Going deep through the crowd. Flip, get, you've got to get in there deep. High, high performance flip-flops. <laughs> okay. Forward movement only. Shoe they shoe. You and they were unidirectional. Oh ho ho. Well that's that's when you wear the Moses sandals, because then you can go backwards. They got the strap to the heel. No, yeah, no, you gotta get you know, you gotta get unique that way you have to flip them. You turn yeah. Turn them around? No, no, no. You gotta you get you gotta rotate so that, you know, you need to you no know, outside tread wear so you gotta switch feet. <laughs> what? Outside tread wear, so you gotta switch feet. So that you're, you're gonna let one, where's even. one flip flop break in for the left foot, one flip flop break in for the right foot, and now that you got your arches and your feet worn in properly so they're comfortable, you oh, swap great. them. Now you've got not now you're drifting to to the left or right, you know, because you've got too much tread wear on one side. Just obviously. practice with four flip flops until they break in, and then if you really want to do some high speed drifting, wear both the rights. Hmm. Wear both the lefts. In yeah. You, yeah, that's what drift professional drifters do. They so anywhere swap the right, right flip flops. Tires. And, yeah, that's it. Well, four set of right tires. Going yes, and so it slides better. Yeah, yeah. It's didn't they just lubricate the track a little so you can extra, extra lubrication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they they can go. Yeah, they use put, the, put the back called? end out really easy, far. Easy drift. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's the drift mode. There's a button. Oh, I thought, yeah. I thought they just spray the Well, what they down. have to do is they have, they have to finger that button a lot. To, to drift? Yeah, they just... So they got to constantly... Constantly, yeah. They use two fingers? To, well, it depends on how big the button is. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And they got to lubricate the button sometimes, too. Because it sticks. It has to stay. It's a wet button. It's, but it, it'll stick if you don't. Because if you're hitting it that much, you know, you're creating friction. That's, that's, that's a right. horrible yeah. thing. That's a bad button. Yeah. Button burn sucks. Well, I mean, some of these, these other buttons, in order to get them to drift properly... To really come out sideways mm. and, and get that that good to get it on the side the, like the good the, the positive stroke going mm. yes they gotta turn it over and get the back side of the button with at least two fingers in order to activate the uh, the, the drift mode drift mode yeah yeah, yeah. that's too much work well the, it's a little bit rougher you gotta sometimes get deep sometimes there's you know, put the, the one surprise down and a little bit lower because there's a second button and it requires a hand sort of combination thing. See, once again, that's too much work. I just want a single stick. <laughs> Low, high. <laughs> Fast, skin peeling off my face. The, the stick is peeling skin off your face. Oh, that's... Hey, man, each their own. As long as it's not my stick, good for you, man. <laughs> Your cars are not a mess. Which one? Oh, yeah, that's true. You do have multiple vehicles. Aha! My yes. bad. Yes, the, the H pattern on my bug isn't exactly an H pattern. It's more like a zigzag. I think I know where the next gear is. <laughs> you use the force, and you feel the transition between... So you, uh, you hold on tight, you grab the ball, and you pray, <laughs> and give it a little force in the direction you think she wants. Once you think you're there, you slowly release that clutch. If you're not sure, you can always just pop it harder. Let those gears mesh, though. Really put it hammered down. You know, I hate when I miss my gear when I'm slapping it. But like in the automatic? No, 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 in the stick. No. Because, you know, I tend to, you know, you know, smack down. That's a fairly large shift knob on that thing. I know. It's dark. And Well, that's why it's big. That's probably why. Mine's, mine's got a white sort of shift ball on it. It's, yeah, I know it's smaller. But, yeah. you know, it fits in your hand better. Well, there's only four gears. Mine, I mean, I've got a, I've got a really big grip 
Correct. There's only four gears. And to get into her reverse, you really got to grab a hold of it. And push hard. Yeah. She doesn't like it. She's not a big fan of, of getting into the reverse. I just go from second and then push down and right into reverse. It's easy. It's like nice and smooth. It's like, yes. Oh, okay. Well, back because that, there's up. there's no synchros in my first gear, when you're starting it out, you really, sometimes it'll, a little extra of a grind. Mm. Yeah. So if you just, you ease in to that second gear. But, you know, like I said, she's an old girl. You really got to, you really got to work at it to get it, to find it. Once you know it's there, ease into that second gear, get those synchros rolling, get it all lubing up right inside of that uh, gear box. Yeah, right in the, in the box. Yeah. And then and then you can put it in the first without having to grind so hard. Just that little bit, really, you know, a little movement right in there because there's, there's it doesn't have the synchros in the first gear. Mine, yeah. mine, mine every now and then gets wonky about going in the first, so I'll have to like second and first and then it you know takes well you time. know it's it's an old german girl too you, yeah, you know yeah, you gotta yeah. she's a bit of a house row mine's mine's a lot older of a german girl though yeah yours yours yeah, yeah. yeah she's she's got two less cylinders and two less turbos and no yeah is yours an antique yet well yours got a lot more junk in the trunk well that's yeah. good I, no mine doesn't have a trunk mine's got a hatch Oh yes, it is that hatchback. Yes. Yeah, she likes a lot in her rear. Yeah, she well, you know, she's built to carry in her rear. Well, the whole I, there's no trunk in the rear of my mine. There's no trunk at all. Yeah, yours is. I mean, she's got the bubble. The good yeah, round no, but, she's, on, but, but there's nothing back there. I think well, there's that's an the implant. engine. The engine is back I, there. I think that's an implant. It it well, it's been modified. I don't uh, know if it's uh, all in. Ah, uh, right. been yeah. modified. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It, well, it, it was originally the, uh, the the fuel injected, and it we did a little backdating. Oh, so yes. so now you went to naturally aspirated. Well, it, we uh, fuel carbureted. So, yes, it's carbureted. Yeah. Nobody does that anymore. I, well, I know because the Six problem pack is. Six-pack in that bad boy. Or I mean, girl. Well, I mean, because you know that way you know all the freaking. Six yeah, pack. I get you. She's got that. Yeah. Way. Well, the, what she's got now kind of backfires a bit. So we've got to change her diet. Ch- yeah, her, her mixture is too rich. Right? Yeah. Got well, it. I don't know if I would say it's rich. It's it's probably starting to get a little lean. Is it? Yeah. That's probably part of it. I mean, but she's not engineered for modern gas. Well, you know, she runs hot. Even at her age. No, but that's the... She, isn't she engineered for leaded gas? Initially. You have, did you have to do some sort of conversion to swap her over? Well, she doesn't like any corn in her diet. Mm. Yeah, it causes a bit more of the backfiring. Mm. So, uh, yeah. so, do you actually go get the corn free? Yes, definitely the corn free. She has the uh, the allergy to corn. I wanted to ask. Do you believe that corn free is the best thing to do for an engine? No. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, the valve seats on modern engines are designed for it. For corn? Yeah. Mm. They just the hot valve seats. Yeah. That they're they're extra hard, mm. and they can really take a, a beating, but the corn actually makes it cooler. Yeah. So it's I mean, like you 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 chill it before you beat it. Well, you know you gotta put a whole lot more of the liquid in there in order for it to get you know real tight, combustible. Mm. Yeah. Get that fire. Get that uh, you know. You know what I'm talking about. That, that, that spark. That you use more fuel in that engine than you would in a more modern engine? If you're using the the corn, yeah, she would she would definitely run through a whole lot more. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, just you know, it just runs right through her. Yeah, do something about her diet. Well, she doesn't have, like I said, those those big tight snails on the front like yours. You know, yours is, you know, normally with the regular human type people, we would call it a huge tract of land, right? Or plural, huge tracts of land. Um, but because yours has the turbos, and it, it's a car, obviously. You know, All Barbarella'd up there. Yes, she's, yeah. Yeah. she is, she's definitely Dolly Parton. Yeah. Oh, yes. But, um... 
But man, she takes some really good deep breaths when she's running. You know, the difference is, though, is that mine really likes to have that top come down. No, no, no. Mine, mine likes to run deep and hard. Well, like I said, you know, she has that big trunk yep. and likes yep. a whole lot in it. Well, no, she doesn't like She's got a hatch. Yeah. She's it's... built to take it in her air. Yeah, she she takes a lot right in there. Yep. I mean, have you ever carried, like, like big, heavy items in the back of that? Bowling equipment. Oh, lots of balls back Lots there. of heavy. Man, yeah, you, you, you really get a hold of those balls with the, the two on the underside and the one for stability. And you get a hold of it. And yeah, that's because you've got to roll it off those two. You know, you've got to get well, that, that. some people like doing that extra little wrist action. Yeah, you know, you've got to get, get that little, get so that that little, little hook so she slides aside. Yeah, because, you yeah. know, when, when, when you get her hooking right, it's, it's devastating. Well, if it's hooking right, that means you can assassinate her 10 10. That is very much the truth. Oh, yeah. Did you send that messenger? Yeah, well, you know, that ball, it's, uh, it was doing well on Instagram about halfway down the lane. It got all those extra thumbs up and likes and whatnot. And skirt! Oh! Mm, yeah. Got to take that left turn. Yeah, she got all ten. Tens across the board. In the pit. And I heard that uh, your boy got... All tens across the board. No, I mean there was no. the one that required the that, spare ball. That first open frame. Yeah. Other than that, it's he, unfortunate. Uh, that's just keep the number down just a little bit more when it's that far up. But uh, he'll get there. Um, um, yeah, no doubt. That's that's professional numbers. He'll get there. I've got confidence. Hell yeah. So I put the top down on it, right? Mm-hmm. Put, she loves it when her top's down. She She's not as fast when her top's down. She likes to take it easier. You know? That's because she's no longer aerodynamic, man. You've got, like, wind pushing against things that were normally harnessed. Yeah. And, um, and, and she does use a bit more of that, of the, uh... Juice? Yeah, she uses a little bit more juice. She's a little thirstier of the... The liquid when it when that when her tops down yeah you figure she'd be cooler she's not as hot at that point you know well you know you've got a, a layer i tell you in. what when her tops down i feel a lot cooler you know what was real special about this this uh, this old girl though is that um she there's nothing i can there's no knob i can twist to turn things on though you know, with yours, you can turn a knob and she'll have somebody just yelling and singing and all sorts of stuff. You can even crank it up. Man, dang, she's just bellowing. Yours is mute. Pumping. Just pumping out them sides. She's so, so she's right. mute. She's lost her voice. Oh, but because her power comes from the rear, she makes, she makes a different kind of noise. Doesn't talk to you. Doesn't talk. Doesn't scream, doesn't yell. It's not real loud. So she's driving you from the rear. But, but oh yeah. And, but there's there's a little bit of vibration coming from the front end. I'm, I'm sure. Every now and, and then, you know, start she going. lets you peg it. You can feel it. You gotta hold on. Yeah. Just, you put it down. That's what she likes. She likes it. Take it as deep as you can press it. Oh yeah. Now, like I said, she didn't go quite as fast when she put that top down though. And she's a little thirstier. So even when you go deep and you press hard in. So at that point she's a drag queen because you know there's all that wind resistance. Oh no, no, no. Because no. with you, the top down you've broken her aerodynamic profile so you've increased your drag. Maybe, I mean, she does have a stick. Yeah, I See? guess. I think I've proven my point. Oh man. All this time all this time I thought she was an actual female. Now, do you still call her she? Her? It's the twenty first century. Oh she, right. Yeah. yeah, I guess you do that now. I'm I'm not sure on the whole customary customizations of just your, dub. your custom just dub Beardless. now. That's all you just say. Dub. Oh, it's so modern. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, V doesn't. Not yeah. Yeah, dub. Just dub. Just dub. Hmm. Well, fairly neutral. Well, used to be with the whole name. 
she had a very long name, much like you know some of the the Spanish people do with their names and the hyphenins and the very long long names, right? The whole family, you know, represent. You know, she used to do that sort of thing. Wait, she was in a gang. Yeah, yeah, she was. Wow. Yeah, that's. I mean, she. Wow, uh, her history is fairly amazing. Well, her. Her, the other one that I had that was like her that didn't ever like she never put her top down because you know she was she was very hard she was really rigid about that yeah she was yeah that it, that one that one actually got you know, some gang tattoos and I, I hear that you know you could you could get a cutter and change that you know if you, well it's permanent well once you made that change it's permanent yeah, yeah. well you know a, a little surgery. You know, her, her her midsection might not be able to take it, though. That's true. It's probably not designed as stiff. Yeah. You know, you should, some crunches. She'd have been okay. So you'd really, really need some uh, some extra support. Need a support group, I think. Not just one support. Yeah. She'd need therapy? Well, definitely some, some of that uh, welding therapy. Mm-hmm. Yes. But, um, yeah. Hey, I know where you can find an ID. Uh, a U beam, an I beam, a U beam, an I beam. Like we all beam, I beam, beam. beam? with the letter I. What was that? <laughs> well, I wasn't sure. You were about to karate chop me. Well, like, 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 I mean, what is what is I? this? Are talking a capital letter, or like a lowercase I. Maybe it's you know cursive. Do anybody remember how to do a cursive I? Oh yeah. You remember how to do a cursive Z? So what happens when you don't shave your lower section and it ends up on the toilet seat. No. Hey, I remember how to make a cur- cursive Z. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. What? What? That's the cursive Z. I, I, thanks. <laughs> the hand <laughs> signals, the they words. translate so well. The cursive Z. That's, <laughs> I drew the cursive Z in the air for you. That's the cursive Z. All right. Well, we're going to get into a plane and you're going to skywrite a cursive Z. And we're going to see if any of the millennials know what the heck it is. You know what? Honestly, no one would know what the heck it is because Dude, it's like, is that a manatee? <laughs> yeah, it's choosing our next topic. <laughs> <laughs> right out the swimming pool, man. It's, look, it, it's bedongled another. <laughs> I don't know what would you call it. It's like their little snubber of a face, <laughs> little less arse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. He comes up and bumps it with the nose, but it's slow. Moo. Is it say moo? It's underwater. I don't know what they speak. It's like sea cows ish. Sure. What do they? What, what kind of noise do, do the manatees make? It's a warm water walrus. They go. That's all I hear. Like it's a little wetter than that. And I'm glad I didn't blow too hard. I might have had a booger come out. <laughs> What's that green thing on the camera? Oh my goodness. Oh, no. Ooh. I just had to check the nose. <laughs> Make sure now it felt a little moist. That's a good word. <laughs> kind of like I like my brownies. A little moist. Yes, yeah, cake or towelettes. It's all fine. Outside of that, the word moist is unacceptable. It's like, <laughs> where, where, where did cake come from? Cake? Isn't it by the ocean? Ocean cake? No. Before your time. Before your time. Was it like the band cake? Reluctantly crouched at the starting line, engine thumping and bumping in time. The no, green no, light no, flashes, no. the flags go up, thinking, turning and burning. She yearns for the cup. Uh, Fate after every maneuver, uh, around myself a brand. Fuel burning song, fast on an empty tank. Cake by the ocean. No? Oh, okay. You don't listen to, to, to modern music here. Oh, no, if it's auto tune and drum machines, I'm not really into it. There was no auto tune. I had a really hard time choosing the music for this podcast because it's got drum machines. But you, but you, you're a robot. You, oh, you do. You do oh, you, you're supportive of your people. I understand. What? No, I, I didn't want auto you, you, you wanted them free. You didn't. You didn't want them enslaved to the process to the man making yeah, music. Man, too a, much stuff is China, already China, done through computers China, and China. editing this is done through a computer, recording it is done through a you computer. Wanna, you wanna do it with paper? You wanna edit this with paper? I'm just saying everything I'm is just computer. asking a question. You didn't ask the question. You what is it well, you know if you pull a computer out of your car it doesn't work anymore. Ah no my old girl doesn't have a computer in her. Mine does. 
Yeah. Well, I give a couple of the newer girls that you know they're 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 boxy. You know. Double I just don't like the character. No, there's no corners cut. You said boxy, but that was Yeah, they're, they're boxy. Okay. You didn't like him? He was an okay character. Oh, yeah. And he dang it. Yes. I was I was referring to the the number of spawn that can receive um, safety harnesses within her Todd McCrone? Woo? No. Spawn? What another word for interior. Spawn? Todd McCrone? The undead the kind of semi demonic warrior. We've we got gone past us. You said spawn, man. I know. Oh my god, you comic book characters. The nerd in me is freaking out. Bro, let's go. I get it, man. You're the one telling me i got to turn my musclehead card in. Grr, you can't be a nerd and a musclehead at the same time. Grr, grr. I'm not a musclehead. What now? I'm not a, that, I'm not a musclehead. Dude, you are you do personal training. Uh, uh -huh, that's health. Health. You own There's a, a gym. huge difference but between musclehead and uh -huh. health. Health does not mean necessarily muscle I don't, I don't, I don't own a gym or a fitness center. I don't train people. Hell, I can barely keep myself contained. <laughs> but that's because you're so super massive, your clothing cannot hold you. You're, you know, you're... I'm not tearing out of this shirt or anything. Which, yeah. by the way, do you like my shirt? As you're... As you're... Yes, it's got two oh, skeletons, and one of them's holding the spine of the other one. It says, I got your back. That's awesome. It glows in the dark. I, I noticed that when you did brown life with that, that shit glows in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm the nerd now. No I should have worn that to the no chiropractor today. Because he said, I'm the nerd. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't wear this but shirt to the you're chiropractor. Not, you're, you're the, but you're the muscle head, though. You know. See, because I didn't flex my brain enough to when, think I should have worn this to the chiropractor. Speaking of flexing, you know, when your shoulder and your ear are in the same plane, yeah, that's a, that's a muscle Yeah, that's a muscle head. Dude. I'm just like, they won't touch. That's because you ain't got no neck to get anywhere with. You my, can't, you didn't, my shoulders are getting in the way. Your traps are getting in yes, the way. Like, traps. Oh, 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 yes. oh, I can't do it. <laughs> What's this the wall between me and my... Oh, yeah, that's my trap. Sorry. You know, we got a rule, right? That if you can still touch your shoulder with your hand on the same side, not across from it, that's dumb, right? On the same side. If your right hand can touch your right shoulder, you still need to lift more weights. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm trying. Look at this. Ha! I can't do it. See, impingement. <laughs> I need to get this impingement fixed, but oh, ha! I can't do it. I can't do it. We get in the way. Can't do it. It's called flexibility. I right, thanks. <laughs> oh, dang. See, look, look, I can still touch. Yeah. You can't even come close. You're like, what? <laughs> Yeah, see, y'all saw the lats in the video. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. The latissimus dorsi almost came out you... and fucking nope, introduced nope, itself. Nope, nope, nothing. Oh, there it is. I gotta edit that. Nothing. Out. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Not a thing. Not, not a, z zero, zilch. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, there you go. See, I can touch. Touch, touch, touch. You're touching your shoulder. Yes, very good. I'm touching myself. <laughs> he can't do this stuff. Ah, like T Rex on top. What just huh? happened? What? Where? What? What? Yeah, he got excited because he was touching himself. His shoulder. His shoulder. Don't get excited. I can't. I can't touch my shoulders on the same side as the hand. I wonder how many people listen to this has are actually trying to touch their shoulders right now. Probably well, every single one of them went. Oh, I can do it. No problem. What's wrong with this guy? You gotta understand, Pete's arms are the size of probably your thigh. Um, they're a lot smaller than they were about three years ago. I, I know, I remember. They wouldn't fit in that shirt no, three years ago. What well, yeah, they would have? Well, they might have torn. Yeah. <laughs> your your, so your the arm arms would, would have turned blue because cut off all circulation, but they would have fit. Yeah, more maybe. Or less. My shoulders are feeling better. Feeling better. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm getting to failure better. <laughs> I need to continue drinking. You do? Yes. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah. It's a, it's a thirsty girl. <laughs> God, I love them when they're thirsty. All right. <laughs> if you have any questions, concerns, comments, complaints, or gripes, I got a question. Uh, fantastic. Let's hear it. Sony Expense. Okay. Hey, lay it on me, bro. When the when when the when the Ross Mountains, when when they cut to a scene, you see the Ross Mountains, and then there's like debris, right? And you swear to God, it's about to fall into something. Uh huh. That doesn't make any sense. That what's gonna fall into something? The Ross Mountains. It's gonna fall into something. Fall into what? The debris field. Is it moving? Well, it is moving, but it looks like it's falling the same way everything else is falling. But if it's falling at the same rate as the debris, it's not going to run into it. But it looks like it's falling out of control. The Rocinante is never out of control. That is a Mars military piece of equipment. And it has a Mars trained pilot on board. He was a glorified bus driver. Bus driver or not, look, if you fly a 747, you are a trained pilot. That is a glorified bus. Yeah, with a bunch of guns and nukes on it. Right. He, like I said, he's a Mars Navy pilot. I, I relate almost entirely other than the fact that I'm not in space and it's not Mars. He was, he was, he was a bus driver. He said himself he was a bus driver. He, said he was not good enough to fly the warships. But he's flying the war bus-ish? War it bus. is stolen... It was yeah. not stolen. It was stolen. No, they didn't steal it. How come they had to keep masking the signature of the thing, rewriting the name of it, and oh, we can't have 